So the name Ansel Keys probably brings up some really bad memories. You associate Ansel Keys with the seven country study and talking about how carbohydrate consumption is essential for um, humans and fats are bad and all that. But we need to realize Ansel Keys actually contributed some good science and helped us better understand fasting. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a little book review. Ansel Keys has published, and again, I'm not trying to say Ansel Keys was an amazing person. I'm just trying to say that he actually contributed some decent science to the physiology and our understanding of fasting. And I just want you to be aware of this information should you be naturally curious like me about the physiology of fasting. So amazing book. I mean, this is super detailed about every little physiologic finding with prolonged starvation. And this is more the layman's overview of the Minnesota starvation experiments by Todd Tucker. An amazing read. I read this on an airplane. I couldn't put it down. Um, it was, it's just phenomenal. And so uh, Todd does a wonderful job of going through the history of Ansel Keys and talking about how he initially got into uh, the position that he was to be set himself up for this Minnesota starvation experiment. And I think he first was, was doing some work in hypoxic training and altitude training and, and looking at the physiology of uh, you know, what happens to blood volume and oxygen saturation. And he went through the details and, and Ansel Keys, to, uh, from what I garner from reading this book and reading uh, Nina Teicholtz's book, uh, Big Fat Surprise, very persistent individual. Uh, Todd talks about a story about how, how he punched out some sort of uh, guy, I think they're on Mount Kilimanjaro or they're on some really uh, steep mountaintop and, and one of the researchers or assistants disagreed with Ansel so he just punched him in the face. Like So this guy seemed like a real alpha, just driven, right? And just a really good book. And, and one of the biggest takeaways that I've found after reading this book and, and learning about this Minnesota starvation experiment occurred during World War II and uh, this study, by the way, could never be done today due to ethical uh, restrictions and things like that. But uh, one of the individuals was in this experiment was so hungry, and this is like how he introduces the book, that he went to visit his sister-in-law or sister, I can't remember which, outside of Minneapolis, and he cut his own arm off to get, try and get out of the study. Like he went outside like using an ax and he was so fatigued, so exhausted, uh, and so mentally just over this whole experiment that he took an ax and cut his hand off or cut part of his arm off, all right? So that, but then when he was in the hospital, Keyes went to visit him and Ansel said, hey, look, you don't have to continue to be in part of this study because they were doing this, you know, they would oscillate the, the uh, restriction. So they started out with like an, a surplus of calories and they went down to like 400 a day or 200 a day for periods of, of time. And um, Ansel said, hey, you don't have to continue to do this, to be uh, involved in the study. And this individual said, no, I, I must. Uh, after I got out of the hospital, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, you know, I cut my hand off, whatever. And he went back and continued on and didn't quit. So it's really interesting, you know, and, and one of the things, the takeaways from Todd Tucker's book, again, right here, an amazing read, um, was that fasting really affects the mind. And prolonged fasting and starvation tends to, it causes, it causes these people to basically go crazy. This was all men, by the way in the stadium at University of Minnesota, they started to get in fights with each other. They started to get pissed at Ansel Keys. They started to feel depressed. So uh, prolonged dieting, prolonged food restriction, obviously it affects the body and leads to loss of lean muscle tissue and fat loss and all that. But the biggest takeaway was the mind. And so, uh, yeah, uh, it was just it's super interesting, you know, our connection with food. There's a lot of mental elements woven into it and baked into it. and. Uh, yeah, so I think it's a great read. You know, if you're interested in studying fasting like me, check it out. And, and again, I just want you to watch this video with an open mind. Uh, I know that, and I'm not supporting Ansel Keys and saying he's just this amazing person. And obviously he was probably a little dishonest with uh, his seven country study and, and, and vilifying fat and promoting carbohydrates, but his work in fasting has helped us. And it's a great book, so I'll put links below. And one of the things that I did want you to understand is uh, why Ansel was studying this work is so that um, after World War II ended, they could better serve uh, prisoners of war and help them understand uh, how to refeed them without causing refeeding syndrome, how to you know, help folks that had all these horrific experiences in World War II era, Nazi Germany, things like that, um, how to help them recover. So that was kind of the impetus and how he got government funding to help uh, you know, undergo this Minnesota starvation experiment. So. It was for good causes, and I think a lot of what we now know about fasting kind of stemmed from this because 
this was, uh, there's a lot of data. Again, two books, Ansel wrote these, these two books, very detailed with all kinds of different uh, parameters. So I, I think it's interesting. Again, I'll put links below to Amazon. Those are affiliate links, but if you want some summer reading, if you're kind of interested, this set really helped me kind of understand fasting. So I thought you might be interested in knowing more about it. Appreciate you tuning all the way through this video and, and let me know if that was kind of hard for you to hear. Cause again, when we think Ansel Keys, it's like talking about the Joker, but a lot of what we know about fasting kind of came from this. So I think we got to take the good with the bad. So appreciate you tuning all the way in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do so. So you get a little ping and notification when we launch new videos like this. Catch you on a future one down the road.